I've always been a performer, musician, and I realized in the last the last year of my life that that goes more into my personal life than my job. I really like to package myself and present myself to the world as I want to be seen. And then when I'm not in the mood to be seen, I just don't. I just hide. I've learned that I'm much more comfortable being vulnerable on a camera in front of a crowd, crying on the stage or whatever. And people will be like, wow, she's so brave for sharing that. Or she's so, she's so brave for talking about this thing it must be so hard, but it's not even hard for me because what's actually vulnerable for me is sitting in front of someone when no one else can see and no one's listening and it doesn't make me look or sound any certain way and I'm just expressing myself in the moment. Like telling someone that they hurt my feelings is way harder for me than talking about like the ugliest thing that I've been through to a bunch of strangers. That's probably the scariest thing that I could do is sit there after someone just said something that hurt my feelings and sit there and be like, Hey, that made me sad. It's hard because it's not a conscious thought. I just get filled with like terror <laughs> and I'm like, oh. and my brain is like, I know that saying something will help. And I'm like, speak, speak, just say it, <laughs> get it out. But sometimes I'll sit there for like 10 minutes. I'm just like, Ugh. and I try to just like carry the conversation. But I'm like, I need to say something, but I don't know how to say it. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, and then when I do say it, I almost always start crying because it's so awkward. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> It's, it's very uncomfortable. I guess that's something I'm looking for more in my life is not just people that I'm comfortable being vulnerable around, but developing relationships to the point where I'm that comfortable. Because right now there's probably three people in my life that I do that in front of and actually open up in the moment and say, this is what I'm going through. And I'm, I've realized I need to, it's like you don't just start there. That's somewhere you get after a long time. So I need to like begin that journey with other people and start, you know, doing those little things that eventually end up in a, such a place of trust where you can be yourself. That would be the ultimate goal for me to open my heart. <laughs>